Hey everybody. So today, or tonight, um, I need to make some casting sand, but first, we gotta talk about this. I went to Harbor Freight to get a bucket, and color me shocked when that bucket, the lid, and the bottom are both made in USA. This is a made in USA bucket they sell at Harbor Freight. I don't know if China knows. I don't know if we should tell China. China might feel like they got cheated on, but just totally wild. So back to Sam. So I was talking to the neighbor the other day about doing some casting, um, which is something if you work with metal, everybody says they're going to do, and eventually they'll get around to it, but most don't. So um, we're going to do it tomorrow, because if you set a deadline, you'll get it done. And our... Harbor Freight U.S. made bucket. I have 10 yogurt cups of regular sand because I'm making a green sand. It's a water-based. And I have here some cat litter. It's got activated charcoal in it. I don't think that's going to matter or affect the quality of the sand at all. Uh, just having a little carbon in it. The ratio for green sand is going to be 10 parts sand to one yogurt container full of, this is bentonite clay and activated charcoal, but I need to powderize this. So that the idea is the bentonite coats all the grains of sand, you get a fine mix. So I went and bought this little food processor chopper thing at a thrift shop. If you use the one out of your kitchen that you possibly got for your wife or significant other, um, I am not responsible for the physical harm that they decide they're going to cause you in the event that you use their chopper to grind up cat litter. Go buy one in a thrift shop. Get this thing open. Alright, so our little food processor chopper thing is all set up. Add some of those cat litter. We're going to chop it up see what happens. Now, there are probably other cat litters out there. Um, it's getting harder and harder to find one that's not scented or not got some special additive to it. Um, if I was trying to do a fancy casting, maybe I'd do something different. You can actually order green sand from the internet, from somebody. Shipping's terrible because it's sand. It's heavy. But I'm just making a bucket's worth so we can play around with it tomorrow. And... If it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, then we'll try something different. We want to get it down to a very, very fine powder. We'll just give it a minute to do its thing. I'll probably let it go. What occurred to me is that I don't have as much, because it says activated charcoal in it, right? I don't have as much bentonite clay, which is the active ingredient I want. The charcoal is just there. So, let's see how much we need one yogurt cup full. Pretty good powder there. How's this come off? Button. Woo, that's warm. So, there's our blade. Here's our powderized. Bentonite clay, car charcoal mix. Looks like we'll need one more jar's worth. This is for household use only. It says so on the box. Put our blade back in there. So that gave us about a quarter of a yogurt thing full. So maybe one or two more runs here. We'll be good to go. We'll dump our bentonite mix into our sand. This is why you want the lid. Breathing small particles of dirt is a great way to get silicosis. Lungs fill up full of dirt. It's not healthy. Don't do it. Okay. So now we need to go mix all that stuff together because we want that I, I feel like I want all the dries mixed together before I go putting water in there. Next we need to start. 
stir in some water. sandbox. So now start packing it with some of that sand. See how it looks. Now this is fairly heavy grit sand, so I might have to add, I might have to add something to it to get a nicer finish. Tamp it down. So for those of you playing along at home, this is a one square foot box. 15 inches, 12 inches, and 12 inches. 